Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a working digital clock in Project Spark. It's not, um, it's in game time, not, um, your computer time, obviously, to make sure it's clear, first of all. Um, but yeah, so first of all, I'll show you what it does. Um, this is for a guy named SniperDude182, and he wanted, he's making, pri um, Prison Architect in Project Spark. And what he wanted was a digital clock that could be pausable. Like, I'll show you real quickly. So, it starts out at, right now it starts out at, like, 12.30 a.m., but that's just because, um, I set the time, or 12.17 a.m., because I set the time equal to start at 17. But, um, yeah, so watch, I'll wait, I'll pause real quickly by pressing A, which he can change into anything, it's just, for example. And if I press A again, I'll turn back on. And, um, yeah. So, we'll wait a second here. I want to show you that it changes from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Just as a normal clock would. It also has p.m. functionality as well. And it'll change from p.m. to a.m. perfectly fine and whatnot. So, basically, all that I did was I made a clock and a time converter, um, uh, page. And I display the time in the first thing, in the first page, just because, why not? Alright, so when when not paused, which is, um, which paused is, wait for it, is right here. Paused equals not paused, basically means the opposite, paused will become the opposite of it, since it's a boolean. And not paused, when not paused, it'll go, voila, 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 it'll do this clock, this basic clock, which is just, Every, when count is true, cool down timer 0.5, time increment by 1, which means every 0.5, every 0.5 seconds, after 0.5 seconds this is true, after, yeah, then this will increase by 1, and then this will turn false, and when this is false, after 0.5 seconds it will turn true, so it turns out to be, um, an entire second, which, uh, yeah, properly, um, that, that's just the way I do it. I don't know. It's probably some simpler way to do it, but I haven't found one yet. So, um, then it goes from there into the time converter, which is right here, and then it says the AM equal to true, so that it'll start out at AM no matter, because it starts at 12 AM, and this just says that it defines as AM. It'll start at AM, and whenever time AM is false, it'll turn to PM, and so on and so forth. Uh, minutes equals time mod 60, which basically means the remainder of time, well, time divided by 60, give me the remainder of that. Okay. I, uh, give me the remainder of time divided by 60. There you go. Um, when time is greater than 60, hours will be the rounded down time divided by 60. So, yeah. Uh, when hours is equal to 12, it'll make the... Um, time am equal to not time am, so this basically just means that like this will flip it from am to pm or pm to am depending upon what it is. It'll just go to the opposite again, and then when it's greater than twelve, it'll bring it down to one, or or but down by twelve. So you can actually put in any time, and it'll convert it to twenty-four hour time, which is nice. Um, so you can put, you can put like, let's say 36 hours and 42 minutes, it'll, well in, in minutes, it will crunch that down into the amount of hours that it has. And then when hours is equal to zero, which should only happen if you start at zero for time, or less than 60 for time, it'll switch the time to not AM, or AM to not AM, or PM to not PM, whatever, depending. And then it'll increment it by 12, which means it'll just go back to 12 of that time. 12 a.m. or 12 p.m., yeah. So then minutes is less than 10, which basically means if it's less than 10 minutes, it'll make a text variable. Well, it'll use a text variable that's equal to 0 plus the minutes so that you'll always have two digits in the minute side, but not... I didn't set that for the hour side, so that that's just because that's how clocks work. I don't know. <laughs> and then if it's if it's greater than or else if it's not less than 10, which means if it's greater than or equal to 10, 
minutes will equal just the minutes, not with the zero in front. And then uh, time AM uh, equals, if, if it is in the AM, it'll set time extension equal to AM. If it's in the PM, it'll set it to PM. And then the last thing is set the time variable equals to hours plus space colon space plus the minutes text which I just made and then plus time extension as well. So yeah, and I'll show it to you guys one last time. See here, I can set it to any time that I want and it should work. I just paused and started it again, <laughs> whatever. And yeah, it goes, and you, um, I don't know if I said this before, but you can change the, um, the speed at which the time changes, like easily. You can just change this count and timer to, let's say, 0.25. Go like, give me a sec here. 0.25, or, yeah, 0.25, which is basically a quarter of a second. Or you can actually change this into frames, but I'm just gonna do a quarter of a second. I'll do 0 0.25 what again. Uh, not 2.5, 0.25. Quarter of a second again, and now it'll change the minute hand every uh, half a second, as you can see there. And I can pause it still, or not. If it was how to work. There we go. Pause it. And we can start it again. Pause it. And we can start it again. Pause it. And we can start it again. Yeah. The only reason it wasn't working earlier is because um, it hadn't loaded the, the buttons yet, which takes some time for some reason. But you can press start and then fix that. So now it'll we'll pause whenever. Yeah, I'll increase to 1 a.m. And then if I go like this and say, if I can remember how many, I'll set time equal to, let's say, 350. Is that, if that's right, 350. I know it's not, that's definitely not right. It's It's got to be, I'll just see what it, <laughs> I forgot what it, how clocks work. I'm sorry, this will be, yeah. So I need to double that. One second here, guys. I'm just going to this camera would decide to work. <laughs> I will set it to, I want to do, I'll do 700. Yeah, 700 will work. 700. It'd be 720 would be the time for it to switch hours, but we'll see here in just a second. It goes from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you get half a second here. And voila, that's my digital clock. Um, hope you guys enjoy this little code tutorial, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Wait for it. Yeah, sidestep. Ridiculously huge sidesteps. Alright, bye.